They say she is dead. You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Sir, the Lord will never be on the same states. side. Wraith human. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Nobody to keep things peaceful? Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Burden. I keep order and Vulgan. Not doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Humans only care how their asses rise as their stations do. The plague into Say, Witcher, come over here. Save your We'll have to face the entire might of Say, the why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witchers be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He'd better search for a lad who served a virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden! It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage, but he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them! The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. You know Saskia's servant? Willy of the Oblates. He handled the wine indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willy of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. 
Farewell. Give this us this whole flower, flower with, with the prince fire. Gale with the virgin's Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in mere Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing, because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, I venture Saskia was no more than an etching of Da's breeches. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. That is only what he lost with her life. And you see what they did to her? As I Who see will the witcher side with? He's on very good terms with a damned elf. Maybe he has good They say someone cast a spell. There comes the beast. See? Squirrels, witches. What should I do? Strangers, more strangers. I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. Tell me everything you know about the attempt on Saskia's life. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody, said the virgin, is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um... I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, Just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. Hey, you face me anyway. Eyes like embers. <coughs> He raised his hand and pointed a finger so at him. are a plague of the worst kind. <laughs> oh, a witcher. They lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to live. Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. See you. Don't 
try anything. So it's really haunted now. It is. They should make it a mandatory pilgrimage. <laughs> Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on! This is not Who will the witch have said? Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his oval! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why. The mongrel covets the crown! Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it! A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat! A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his saviour! Perhaps it is no peasant's deed, however, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? 
do not the wines come from his own light ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stennis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stennis's leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stennis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stennis's time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. The prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure. And royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Scoyatal units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must.
I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kidwani camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. We still need royal blood. I know. Henselt. We need his blood, not his death. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a Kingslayer? You wanted to discuss something? Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Don't try anything. I got a serious career proposal yesterday. From one of your best lads.
I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! I knew it. Damn, I knew it was you. When the mist started whirling, I told the boys it's Geralt of Rivia, or well, my name isn't Vernon Roach. A friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. She's got to be here. Philippa Eilhart located her. Well, it seems you met the whole menagerie. Will you abandon them too when things get hot? You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. I'm not one of your men, Roach. I didn't betray you. I didn't say that. But you thought it. You and your men against the whole world. Those not on your side are against you. Don't you care about Voltaire's death anymore? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear, near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles, but some monsters have their lairs there. If you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise.
medallion's telling me something. Take that. Huh? What other matters? Who are you? Our descendants will decide who we were when they see what we've left behind. The valley's been engulfed by a battle of specters. Know anything about it? It's a place of horror. You can still hear the sound of steel and the cries of the dying. If you want to soothe their pain, you have to believe that Sabrina is watching over you benevolently. I won't achieve anything without some memory tokens. Magically active conduits left by those who fell in battle. 
They're supposed to symbolize faith, courage, hatred, and death. Faith? I don't know what those soldiers believed, but their faith didn't help them. They were deceived. Courage, hatred, and death? There was too much of all of them, especially death. But I remember a knight who, ignoring the danger, led a handful of soldiers against overwhelming enemy forces. Seltkirk of Gullet, Demavan's champion. When Vandergrift's cohort cut him off from the rest of the army, he attacked the visitor fearlessly. If you're looking for a symbol of courage, find Seltkirk's armor. Why do you need so many candles? Why not build a campfire? This is Sabrina's flame. Its light protects us and guides us soldiers every step. Did you rob a convoy of wax sellers? I make the candles myself. I give them to anyone looking for protection within the flame of courage. Who were you before? What does it matter? Let the sins of youth fade into oblivion. Look at the candlelight. Feel it, and you'll hear what it has to say to you. I can't hear a thing. Then you're not ready. But your time will come. You will then hear and understand. Trust me. So long. can be really strange. I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now we make camp with the Black Ones. We should have our sea. Take an interest in me. He tells him, the Elder and the Recruiter are coming for you. He was slaughtering pigs at the time, so he takes a pig's eye and puts it between his buttocks. He does what? puts a pig's eye in his ass. The elder and the recruiter enter, and the mother says, Son, they've come to take you to war. And he's standing with his back to them, his pants down. Who are you staring he at? He spreads his cheeks and says, I can see that. 
did they take him? Not a chance. In the face of possible disaster, they tried to draft entire villages in Bywood. Half the serfs knew beforehand and fled into the woods. How many more can there be? enough to bring all these things here. enough to bring all these things here.
guess they'll never learn. Nilfgaardians a few years back, now we make camp 